Hello. Well, in this video, I will give you um, an introduction to something called social status and something called cars. The sociology of cars. I think uh, you can analyze the sociology on the on the cars too by checking it down from the perspective that your car give you social status. If I have an old car which is classic, I have a different social status if I have a new car that it's more expensive that the than the classical car, then ha then my social status and and my ways and the process of socialization it's very different for the people that have a classical car that it's um, it's expensive, but uh, the other people that have a modern car that it's uh, the same expensive as, as the first one, um, it would uh, give us the information that uh, we have a, a, a different process on the socialization. So if I, I have a standard car, then um, the first thing is to put a label on the people that have a standard car and the meaning that it's um, expensive in the average of the of the situation of is it cheap is a cheap car then uh, these people have another social status uh, it is not uh, necessary to say that uh, someone that have car is rich because there are many people that have cars and they are paying a lot of credits, they have a lot of debts in the bank. So there are many other people that uh, maybe don't want to use their cars, that they like to use the subway, they like to walk, they like to go on the bike. So that's why sociology explains uh, that diversity of process of socialization into uh, this introduction to the social status uh, that we found out in the cars. But uh, in the daily life, if we see a people or a person that constantly it's moving on subway, that constantly it's moving on, on public uh, transport, then uh, the first thing that I will think is that that people or, or, or these people it's poor because they don't have car, they don't have enough money for paying the gas, blah blah blah. But uh, sometimes uh, this uh, you can find out uh, people that uh, take the subway because it's more quick. They prefer to evade the traffic. Uh, for approaching to their works, to are approaching to their works more quickly. So that's why it doesn't define uh, the social status uh, um, into an, 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 a strict definition. But uh, it's normal uh, the, that the people always say if you have, uh, I will not say any mark of the cars, but if you have a nice car, a big car that uh, maybe cost uh, three thousand uh, dollars or uh, any kind of or amount of money um, or thirty thousand dollars. I don't know. Uh, it depends on the um, on the social status that these people have. So, um, in my classes on the university, once. Uh, I heard something like, tell me what car do you have and I will tell, tell you who you are. So these are things that uh, for poor people it really hurts on their hearts. <laughs> and, um, but that is really the, real, the real truth. So tell me uh, what car do you have and I will tell I, I will tell you who you are. So um, I 
I I I don't like I don't like to be uh, very uh, mood very mod, uh, modest into uh, my ways uh, of giving you this information, but I think um, uh, the things that happened on the car, the things that happened uh, on on this on this approachment uh, to the to the sociology analysis of the of the cars, it it really takes uh, a good perspective. So another thing that I want you uh, to understand or analyze is that you have different perspectives when you are inside a car you have a different process of socialization uh, if you are driving maybe you watch who is in your left uh, in the case of uh, america united states canada in the case of europe they they have the other conductor uh, at the right so it depends in which uh, in which seats it's the uh, the driving thing. So, um, well, another thing that it's important, or I think it's important, is the traffic lights. When you think the traffic lights, if you are looking to the phone, if you are getting to your work late, if you are uh, having a meeting. Uh, once a day, maybe you are in the center and maybe you crash and then maybe you um, go outside the car and tell the other he had the fall because he doesn't uh, watch to his left or to his right and blah blah blah. So, um, uh, this, uh, this process of socialization it's very different when you are inside the car because your interest, your interest uh, change when you are inside the car or if you are driving or if you are uh, just uh, someone is giving you a ride to uh, another place. It's different perspectives, it's different cosmovisions. So you don't, like, you don't look the cars when you are walking on the, street, on the streets, you don't look the cars into the same way uh, like anybody uh, like like the cars look to you so the first thing that you are walk, walking when you are walking is to be aware uh, to the cars to not uh, take you down with their car so um, the perspective changes even in the way that you are crossing the streets so this these are uh, a different cosmovision different sens sensations maybe you feel more power when you are in the car because you feel protected if it started to rain you know that you are not uh, going to uh, dirty your your clothes to um, your clothes is not going to feel your bags of uh, are not going to feel of water because it is raining you know that if you are in the car you have um, uh, the power to, to move to the other places, to, to feel more secure, to feel more that you are in something, that you are in the society, that you uh, are better than others, that uh, when you are walking, maybe uh, this perspective changes. The perspective uh, changes in the meaning that uh, you see the things like... Um, uh, maybe uh, you have to take care, you have to uh, think if it's going to rain, if you are going to uh, to give you the correct time to arrive arrive to your to your work or arrive to any, but any places you go. So maybe the thing here is um, what does this um, works for me or how does this um, is going to uh, transform my life or, or how this uh, definition is going to transform my life. Well, my intention is just to give you these different perspectives that uh, almost anybody will give to you.
anybody will tell you these obvious things that you constantly are thinking in the society but that it's the function of the sociology to give this cosmovision of how we look to the society from inside a car, from outside a car, from inside a trailer. The concepts are very different. Uh, the process of socialization are very different. The words that the people said are very different. Uh, maybe another good example is uh, when you take a taxi, maybe you start constantly talking with the taxi and the taxi it's going to be like your uh, psychologist that give you advices, that give you what you have to do in your work, how your family is, and if you have problems with your wife, if you have uh, problems with your family, if you have uh, problems with the church, if you have problems in the world, in any kind of, 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 uh, of situation, maybe the people that it's driving a taxi will help you to understand what is happening in the life. That are things that are implicit, in, implicit on the definitions of the society, on the definitions of the cars, on what happened the cars, how uh, the, the cars have been transformed the society and the urban sociology into the different perspectives that nowadays we are having. Nowadays uh, we grow up thinking that um, you have to study, you have to get a car, you have to get a wife, you have to get a family, uh, you have to get kids, you have to maintain them, give them education, give them uh, good, good things, and then uh, you will um, uh, finish your life by by doing these things. So nowadays, the people in the in the in the urban sociology on the or in the cities, um, the pe the people that do not have car, they are like strangers and they and they are poor sometimes. So it is it is not uh, always like the same saying that if you don't have you are poor maybe you you are rich and you don't want a car or there are many kinds of people many kinds of way i respect them but this is uh, how the majority uh, part of the society uh, uh, that statics throw us into the sociology analysis this this meaning so uh, I hope uh, you like this the, this perspective of the situations and now I have in mind uh, how the taxis uh, work on the different countries like China, the countries like Venezuela, um, the countries like uh, India, uh, United States, it's the classical yellow taxi. Um, in China, you you have uh, uh, normal taxis with cars. In in, the, uh, in, in Venezuela, you have uh, motorcycle taxis. So the evolution of the taxi um, in the society have been uh, work uh, between the interested uh, uh, the interested and the economy of every single people. So that's why it's important to analyze uh, this, um, these definitions of uh, the sociology analysis of the, of the, of the cars. Well, so uh, I hope you like uh, this introduction, hope you like this uh, meaning, my perspective of how I see uh, the sociology involved with the cars and how uh, this uh, daily life, this daily thinking that every single day that we woke up, uh, we think constantly on these things. But uh, I think um, uh, never a uh, teacher is going to tell you this uh, just if you study sociology and you begin to analyze these things. So um, I, will leave, I will leave my uh, website down there. Um, leave uh, your comments um, 
give like to the video if you like if you don't like you can uh, throw me a bad a bad uh, hand I will accept that it doesn't matter uh, that will help me to understand that maybe what I'm telling to you it's not very important but uh, I think with the time I'm going to be uh, more and more uh, assertive to my things assertive to the things that I'm going to uh, began to explain to you in this channel uh, this channel uh, uh, originally uh, was called Catharsis uh, that is my company name Catharsis it's my educational company uh, I'm a consultant I consider myself a consultant for that because I think I have uh, enough uh, knowledge to give you uh, the information I'm studying now Russian I'm studying English I'm studying Chinese I'm studying Arab I'm studying uh, different languages that uh, it's going to give me the permission to understand uh, how society and this uh, process of information that uh, uh, we are having in the society so I'm talking in English because it's the language that it's more talked in in the in the other countries so that's why I'm talking in English I would not talk in Russian in any video I would not talk in Chinese I'm very sorry um, I would not talk about in Spanish and uh, my original language is Spanish but I would not talk about in Spanish because uh, this project is uh, uh, to give orientation to Mexicans too I, I am not excluding Mexicans I want to to be very clear in this point I'm not exclu excluding Mexicans by talking in English by, by saying Oh look, this guy. Uh, he's talking in English, and he live in Mexico. He don't love his country, and uh, he loves Donald Trump. And uh, no, you know, my intention is to transmit the information in English because it's the foreign language is the is the language that uh, everybody or almost everybody talks or have to talk is you have a profession so that's the way that I want to approach to you so maybe uh, there will be Mexicans that uh, doesn't speak the English very well but Mexicans please do not uh, do not be angry with me because I'm talking in English just uh, leave your comments if you want you can leave your comments in, you can leave your comments in Spanish, in Russian, Chinese, Korean, any kind of language and I will uh, answer you in English or I will answer you in your language, don't worry. So, um, I would like uh, once again to thanks to the Mexicans and to thanks to the other people that are watching me in the different worlds and uh, to invite them to please follow these videos from them you have another perspective if you are uh, starting to have this interest, uh, this interest on sociology um, these videos I think will help you to understand how sociology is working so um, I am a student of National University of Mexico I'm very proud of it because it's one of the uh, of the best schools for studying in the world uh, I'm very proud of, of, of it and uh, I would like to, uh, to have interactions with other universities uh, it, it's classical to, to have Harvard on, on, the, on the, these different studies but Harvard is not like the God of the university Harvard is just a point of references of uh, how sociology it's working in every world so if you are from Harvard please leave your comments if you are from any university uh, uh, if, if particular university pri uh, sorry private university public university doesn't matter I want you to comment I want you I want to know what you are 
uh, doing on sociology, what if you are not in sociology, what you are doing in social sciences. If you are not in social sciences, I want you uh, to give me your introduction or your perspective from society of how biology, scientists or any kind of thing happens in the world, in the in the in your society, in your work. So please comment, please like, please share and check out my website. I will um, I will be uploading uh, different documents with writings on myself that I do with the works that I do on the university and I can give you to um, uh, consulting on sociology if you want please just contact, contact me in my website uh, you can leave me a message by my mail sociologist garcia minus arroba gmail .com, minus with y and z at the file and um, I think that's all thank you very much have a nice day and good luck